Hello everyone, my name is Mackenzie Donahue. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about Disney World. And contrary to popular belief, Disney World is nothing like Disneyland. Disneyland is one park. It can be found in California, Tokyo, even Paris. Disney World? One of a kind and only found in Orlando, Florida. I'm 18 years old. I've been to Disney World 10 times, and I plan to go again in May. According to the Walt Disney World website, there's 139 attractions to choose from. This includes from their four separate parks and their resorts. Tonight, I'm going to talk about three separate things. This is going to include transportation, parks, and resorts. First of all, how are you going to get there? Well, you could sit in a car for 12 hours if you want to drive to Orlando, Florida. Or you could take a two-hour plane ride, which most people are going to opt for. Once you sit in the plane for two hours and arrive to Florida, what now? There's this thing called the Magical Express. It's a long bus that includes comfortable seating and TVs for you to watch movies. This is going to take you to Walt Disney World property. And once you arrive on Walt Disney World property, there's going to be three other modes of transportation. The first one is going to be buses. This can take you to seasonal water parks, downtown Disney, or four of the original parks. They're really crowded and can be extremely hot, and you have, if you have kids, it can be really hard to get strollers in and out of there. This is going to take families back and forth from the parks, but if you're single and riding alone, it can be really simple and easy to get to place to place. The second mode of transportation is boats. This boat can take you to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is only available by water or monorail. It has limited seating, obviously, for its capacity and size, and only allows about 25 people at a time, so you kind of have to wait in line. But it does offer a nice breeze. The third transportation available on Disney World is the monorail. This is the most popular and probably the most fun. It takes you around pretty high in the sky, so you get to see all different kinds of sights from different angles. Bad thing, not all your stops are going to be immediate. You might have to stop at the Polynesian Resort on your way to Magic Kingdom, but it's totally worth it. So you've arrived. What now? All ears suggest that you use maps and print them off online before you go so you can plan out your destination. It can get really crowded really easily. And look at operation hours for shows and rides. The first one, Magic Kingdom. Probably the most known park which offers Cinderella's Castle. You can meet tons of characters from Mickey Mouse, Pluto, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, all of your favorite characters in one place. Meet your wildest dreams. This is a kid's favorite because it offers a lot. It offers the carousel, small children's rides. This is the park you think when you think of Disney World. It also offers a fireworks show every single night. The second park is Epcot. This is mainly an adult themed park, but it's extremely beautiful. It's called Around the World. You can go from Japan to Germany to America and back to Japan in three minutes. They offer ethnic foods, cultural shopping. It's absolutely wonderful. But I would not suggest taking small children here. They're going to get bored extremely easily. No roller coasters, nothing for them to really look at. The third part is Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom has a ton of wildlife. It includes lots of trees, lots of plants. It's probably also the hottest park there because of this. You can take safari rides, see real elephants, see real lions. And if you have small children, you can take them to the petting zoo. Where there's goats, birds, even, you know, rats to look at. The kids like those things. And finally, there's the fourth main park, which is Hollywood Studios. This is also an extremely popular park. It's mainly for the teenager young adult crowd. Two main roller coasters are here. The first one, the Tower of Terror. This Tower of Terror is based off of the Twilight Zone. It's one of their most popular rides. The second one is going to be the Rockin' Roller Coaster. This coaster goes from 0 to 60 in 2 seconds flat, and it's featuring Aerosmith. So now that you've spent all day at the parks, where are you going to sleep? Good thing there's 30 different resorts to choose from in Walt Disney World. There's, you can even get in the resort with this thing. This is going to be your ticket, your way back into your resort, and it's completely waterproof. This is what the tickets are now. The pros of staying in a resort, you have the magic band, which will allow you to have magic hours. The park normally opens at 10 o'clock, but you're staying at a resort, so you can go in at 9. The park closes at 10? Well, you're staying in a resort, so you can stay till midnight. 
one of the second best things is there's no parking fees. So if you did decide to drive down instead of taking an airplane, you can park. No fees instead of a regular walk-in, which has to pay ten to fifteen dollars. You can camp here. One of the resorts available is Fort Wilderness Camping. Fifty-four dollars. Set up a tent. Everything is totally worth it. And last but not least, you can design and create and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it takes people to make it a reality. Walt Disney.